Welcome back now to our next conversation. Well, uh, most of the top economies in Africa are going through a cost of living crisis in 2023 with elevated inflation, currency struggles. Uh, so I get a sense of holiday spending in Ghana this Christmas with Ghana's consumer inflation slowing uh, to 26.4% year on year in November from 35.2% in October. Uh, Join us now is Patrick Barr Abankwa, global investment uh, consultant. Great to have you on the show. Compliments of Thank the you season. for having me on your show. Fantastic. Yeah, so, everything is fine. Here. Nice. So quite, quite a big drop in inflation rate for Ghana from 35.2% uh, in October to 26.4% in November. Is there less pressure on the average consumer um, this um, holiday? Is, uh, is it reflecting in the stores? Yeah, I think the, the decline in the inflation is quite okay and it's quite good. Comparing the fact that we started the year 2023 with an inflation of over 54%. Now, looking at where we are now in the region of the 20s, it means that there's some kind of um, um, leeway for consumers in the country. Even though it's not as it used to be in the past, I still think that it's giving uh, consumers a bit of um, space. But don't forget, this is just a matter of um september october it means most of the traders have already gone for their goods for the christmas season somewhere in august so the full impact of the um inflation drop has not been felt that much but at least it offers some kind of hope as we enter into the year 2024 at um consumer sentiment at this time uh, are ghanaian consumers uh, are they showing any fear to spend this holiday you know, looking into 2024, we're already getting some um, forecasts of uh, more macro issues. Yeah, well, undoubtedly, people are a bit scared. Uh, they don't know what, whether this kind of uh, drop is something that is going to be a sustained one. So people are a bit cautious around this time of the year, also because there's some kind of education when it comes to people spending within this season. So even though people are optimistic that things are going to get better. People are also a bit cautious in their spending. Uh, people are planning towards the new year, especially when it comes to the month of January. Look at our scope in Ghana. Most people, especially parents, spend so much money in the month of January. So whilst people are spending within this season, people are also very mindful of the fact that, I mean, this inflation can spike again in the first um, quarter of 2024. So whilst you're spending, you also have to keep at the back of your mind that there are some bills that you need to settle as we enter into the 2024. So uh, uh, people are in a mix when it comes to failing. People are being cautious and at the same time, people are also trying to go with the feeling of the season. But, but the bottom line is that people are a bit more anxious with this particular year, looking at the fact that we've gone through a lot of challenges in our financial system and even the economy as a whole. Yeah, definitely. Uh, people might be having uh, some flashbacks there of the issues and definitely be trying to hold on, you know, to most of the cash they have at this time. But with, with inflation dropping in November, will the Apex Bank be slowing rates going into 2024? Are rate cuts uh, on the cards? I think uh, the Apex Bank um, usually want to look at the, the schedule, the period of the inflation drop. So you look at maybe the last six months, they look at the trend. And based on the trend that they see, they now begin to look at some uh, rate cuts. And usually they start with the rate cut from inflation by looking at treasury bills. So at the moment, we have average treasury bill in Ghana for the 91 days, that's 90 days, and also the 182 days, which is six months, around the region of 27%. If it continues, as we have seen, even in December, then you should expect the APS Bank beginning to drop um, treasury bill rates in the first quarter of the year. And that would mean that it will also have an impact on inflation and spending in the country. People will now have to now look at other venues to be able to make up money for their investment. So I expect uh, the central bank or Bank of Ghana, as we say it in Ghana, to drop their rates in the first quarter of next year because if inflation is dropping, then you should not also be sustaining the high rate of inflation by keeping your rate on treasury bill quite high. And I believe that once they do that, it will also lead to reduction in the policy rate and eventually it will lead to loans being I mean, more affordable to businesses. And that's where we need, as a country, to boost the economy. And if you want to boost the economy, look at businesses and how much they incur when they go for loan facilities. So I think that's what the Central Bank or the APS Bank will be looking at as we go into the year 2024. Yeah, definitely. All, uh, all the central bankers now 
We're watching inflation rates uh, like a hawk at this time, looking for any uh, sign that inflation might want to uh, spike again. But let's look at the tourism industry in Ghana. You know, how, how's it doing this holiday? Are there, is there any influx of tourists, you know, coming into uh, the country? I know Ghana's been marketing, you know, tourism in 2023. Yeah, when you look at the tourism industry, and especially this year, I think it's an improvement from what we saw um, last year and also 2021. You know, in 2019, the government set up what they call Coming Back to Ghana. It was a, a campaign to bring Ghanaians in the diaspora to come home. And when you look at the revenue that we made that year from tourism, it's about almost like $3 billion for that particular year. And that was anticipated to continue in the year 2020. But we all know that the issue of COVID hits not just Ghana, but every, every country. And that led to our margins that we're getting from tourism going down in 2020 and also 2021. But we realized that from last year coming, it's picking up again. And this year, it has even gotten to another highest level. We look at the number of programs that are happening, even this December, if you look at even the music industry, the creative art industry, more than 15 programs are happening around the around the country. Even when you look at issues relating to, I will have a, our own a lady called Ifwa Asantua, who is trying to break the record for the longest uh, uh, some person who is able to sing. And that alone has generated some kind of influx from Ghanaians who are coming down to support her, in addition to other tourist sites that we have in the country. So I think that when it comes to tourism, the country is doing quite well, even though there's still an avenue for us to get more revenue by way of looking at what areas can we market more? What areas can we put so much attention on going to 2024? And for me, if we put so much effort into such areas, then Ghana will be making much money from the issue of tourism going to the year 2024 and even beyond. Right, definitely. I'll keep tracking uh, the tourism industry right there in Ghana. It's uh, quite impressive uh, what the government's been able to do in 2023. Thank you so much uh, for coming on the show, Patrick Barr, a Global Investment Consultant. Thank you.